Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in the previous videos, we discussed five things you must do before you start studying for the FE exam. And then we also went over your four month study schedule. But to ensure your success on the FE exam, there are nine essential tips that you need to incorporate into your study routine. These tips will help you guys learn more effectively, manage your time efficiently, make steady progress, and ultimately pass your FE exam. So be sure guys to watch until the end because everything I share in this video will transform how you study and prepare for the FE exam. Oh yeah, everybody now. Tip number one, prime your brain before you start each section. So when I first started college, I was a B student and sometimes I would even get C's. But then my husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, shared this tip with me and it was a game changer. I became an A student right away and it really helped me grasp the fundamentals of engineering. So here's what I did, guys. Before class, I would read the chapter that the professor was going to cover. Now, a lot of time, I had no idea what I was reading, but I did it anyways. And then in the class, when the professor went over the chapter and covered the concepts, I was actually able to follow along. Before that, I would just sit in the class, bored, staring at the clock and waiting for the class to end because I had no idea what was going on. But after priming my brain by reading through the material, I was actually able to follow along, ask questions, participate, and make connections. And by the end of the lecture, I understood a lot more. Now, the best part, when I studied after class, I didn't have to study as much because I've already done the work in the classroom. This approach not only helps you guys understand the concepts, but makes studying easier. You learn faster, you'll be more efficient and retain information better. So how do you prime your brain when studying for the FE exam? Well, let's say you guys are studying math. So first, Take a look at the subtopics mentioned in the specifications and then review the relevant equations in the reference handbook. This is going to give you guys a clear idea of what you need to cover and learn in that section. Next, gather all the resources you'll be using and start going through them. So for example, let's say you guys are using our Jenny Prep Mechanical Afternoon course and you're focusing on heat transfer. Now, these are the sections in heat transfer. And so what you want to do is you want to go to the course and you want to start by watching all the videos for that section. Now, at this stage, don't take any notes and don't solve any problems. This is just like when I used to read the chapter before class, okay? You're just priming your brain. Now, once you've gone through all the videos, you can then rewatch them and this time you can take notes and solve problems. Now, you can apply this method to any resources you're using. Now, many of our students who have forgotten the material they've studied in college oftentimes email us saying that they are having a hard time getting started. And they also mentioned that they can't solve the problems on their own, which is completely normal, guys, because you haven't seen this material in a while. And so you're going to need to give yourself time to refresh your memory. And this is why it's so important to first prime your brain, go through the content, and then the second time around, you can start attempting the problems on your own. This method has helped our students stay consistent with their studies, truly learn the material, and pass the FE exam. So give it a try, guys, especially if you're struggling to solve the problems on your own. Tip number two, master the fundamentals and the easy questions. I know it might be tempting to rush through the basics, but don't skip this step. When you fully grasp the fundamental concepts, you're more likely to store that information in your long-term memory, which helps with retention. Now, mastering the basics also allows you to see how the different topics are interconnected. Now, when you understand how one concept is related to another, it becomes easier to retain the information because you're not just memorizing isolated facts, but you're kind of seeing the bigger picture. Also, guys, complex topics are built on the basic concepts. And when you understand the fundamentals, you'll naturally be able to break down and retain more complex information because you can relate it back to the fundamental knowledge that you've already mastered. Also, make sure that you guys master the easy questions first since the difficult questions are built on the easy questions. So focus on getting the easy questions right. And once you're confident in those, then the difficult questions won't seem as overwhelming because they're often just a 
more complicated version of what you already know. Tip number three, active learning. When you guys are preparing for the FE exam, make sure that you're not just passively learning. Simply watching long lectures is not gonna help you guys learn and retain the information for your FE exam. I know a lot of study materials out there offer long lectures, but they often don't help students effectively prepare for the test. Students tend to get bored, don't retain much, and most importantly, don't get enough practice problems, which is what the FE exam is all about. And that's why it's crucial to focus on active learning. Solve a variety of problems and apply the concept that you learned from the lectures. This approach will help you retain the material more effectively for the FE exam. And that's exactly how we design our courses. We provide short lectures that covers the fundamentals, followed by a lot of different types of problems. And we always start solving the easy questions first, and then we gradually increase the difficulty levels. So if you guys are looking for a course to help you pass your FE exam, make sure to check out our courses at jennyprep.com. Tip number four, expose yourself to different problems. When you take the FE exam, you need to solve 110 questions. And since the exam is all about solving problems, the best way to prepare for it is by practicing a wide variety of them. And so if you're spending most of your time watching lectures, you're not fully preparing for the test. So try to solve as many questions as you can, and also try to always attempt the problems on your own before looking at the solution. I know it can be tempting to look at the solution, especially when it's right in front of you, but working through a problem on your own helps you think more deeply about the concept. It allows you to make connections between different topics, and it also helps with retention because you're engaging in deeper, more active thinking. Now, how much time should you spend on a problem? Well, when I was studying for my FE exam, Sometimes I had to spend 30 minutes to even 45 minutes trying to solve a problem on my own. Now, I know that can feel like a lot of time to do just one problem. And you guys don't need to do 30 minutes. You can just do 15 minutes instead. But the key here is that by doing this and by struggling to a problem, you start solving the problems faster because you are building a strong foundation. Now, if you guys get stuck on a problem, here's another tip. Instead of taking a look at the full solution, take a look at the next step and see if that will help you finish the problem on your own. Taking your time with the problems and struggling through them, it's really important when it comes to preparing for the FE exam. You also guys wanna make sure that you're studying smart and not hard. Focus on what's going to be on your exam and expose yourself to a lot of different problems. And to help you guys with this, we've created the Gen new prep FE problem set, which is a PDF that combines all of our YouTube FE problems into one convenient file. Now, we also included the video links for each question, so you can easily review the step-by-step -step solution. Now, if you guys are interested in that PDF, you can grab it here. And before we move on to tip number five, if you guys are enjoying this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and it allows us to create more content like this to help you guys pass your FE exam. Tip number five, add review sessions to your schedule. One of the biggest challenges students face when it comes to preparing for the FE exam is retaining all the information they've learned. Most FE exams cover 14 different subjects and that's a lot of information to remember. Now, one effective way to help you guys with retention is by adding regular review sessions to your study schedule. Now, if you guys are having trouble remembering concepts, I recommend reviewing your notes during times when you can easily fit it into your day, like during lunchtime, dinner, or even while working out. You can review your notes while you're on a treadmill, elliptical, or weightlifting between sets. And I used to do this back in college and it worked wonders. Not only does working out help reduce anxiety and stress, but it also boosts memory and retention. And when you combine the two, physical activity and review, you'll retain more information and learn faster. I recommended this approach to one of our students, Tanisha, and she loved it. And it really helped her pass her FE exam. In addition to that, I recommend setting aside one day each week specifically for review instead of regular studying. Use this time to go over your notes either from the current week or the previous weeks. And when you're reviewing, make sure that you guys engage in active learning rather than just passive reading. Look at the problems that you've already solved 
and cover the solution and ask yourself the following questions. How did we solve this problem? What equation did we use? What's the key takeaway from this problem? You don't need to solve anything on paper. Doing it mentally works just as well. You can also redo the problems that you did wrong just to make sure that you learn from your mistakes. Tip number six, create a cheat sheet. As you study, make sure that you guys create your own cheat sheet. There are some equations and concepts you'll need for the FE exam that are not covered in the reference handbook. And these are perfect to add to your cheat sheet. You can also include steps for solving specific problems that you tend to struggle with, as well as some common unit conversions. While the reference handbook provides a lot of unit conversions and their units, remembering some common ones like gallon per minute to cubic feet per second or feet to inches can save you guys a lot of time during the exam. Before you exam, make sure that you guys review your cheat sheet to reinforce some of the concepts and equations right before your test. And we've also created a cheat sheet that has important equations and concepts that you guys need to know. If you haven't downloaded it yet, make sure that you guys grab it here. Tip number seven, develop a test strategy. Before you guys go in into the exam, make sure that you have a strategy on how you're going to tackle it. Having a solid test strategy will help with time management, boost your confidence, and reduce test anxiety. If I didn't have a strategy, I would have not been able to finish the exam on time. I remember I took a practice exam and I was trying to solve every question before I moved on to the next one. And as you guys can guess, I was not able to finish my practice exam. And so I didn't do well. My score wasn't great. And from that experience, I knew I had to change my strategy if I wanted to pass the FE exam. So the first thing I had to do, guys, was remind myself that I was not there to ace the FE exam, okay? The goal was not to get every question right, but to just pass the exam, okay? So that's the first thing. From there, I was able to um, come up with a strategy. So the first thing was solve the easy question first and then move on to the medium and the hard ones. I also made sure to not leave any question blank since we don't really get penalized for the wrong answer. And then the other thing I did was as soon as I sat down and they gave me the booklet, I did a brain dump where I wrote all the important equations and concepts that I didn't want to forget. And then I also tried to focus on solving problems in the fastest way possible. Now, there are multiple ways to solve engineering problems, and but some are quicker than others. And so when I was studying for the FE, I really tried to focus on the faster methods, which helped me save time during the exam. Now, these strategies were game changers for me. They really helped me finish my exam and then also pass the FE exam. So I really recommend that you guys come up with a good test strategy. Now, I also shared some of the best test strategies uh, on a separate video. So I will leave the link to that video in the description box. And I really recommend that you guys check it out. Tip number eight, take practice exams. So when I was studying for my FE exam, I wasn't really planning on taking practice exams. And I remember I took the first one and I got really nervous and, and I wasn't able to finish the exam as I mentioned before. But I remember my husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, really encouraged me to take several practice exams. And I'm so glad I did because he made me realize that my test strategy wasn't the best. And then it also helped me identify my weaknesses. So in the week leading up to my exam, I actually took several practice exams because I really wanted to feel comfortable with the whole exam experience. I highly recommend that you guys take practice exams. It is one of the best ways to prepare for the test. When you take them, make sure to learn from your mistakes, work on your weaknesses, and focus on progress. If you don't do well the first time, don't sweat it. Study more and take another practice test. If you're improving each time, that means you are heading in the right direction. But if you're not improving, then it's time to figure out why. Ask yourself questions. Are you making silly mistakes? And if so, why? Are you nervous? Maybe you're not confident. And if so, then that's something you need to work on. Maybe when you were preparing for the FE exam, you skipped the fundamentals and the easy questions. Maybe you're not studying the right material or maybe you're not using your calculator right. Whatever the issue, identify why you're struggling with the practice exams or why you keep failing the FE exam. Don't keep doing the same thing and expect different results. Making the same mistakes over and over leads to failure. So figure out what's holding you back, fix it, 
and you'll be on your way to passing your FE exam. And lastly, tip number nine, go at your own pace. It's important that you guys go at your own pace. Take the time you need to study and truly understand the fundamentals. While it's great to have a plan, it's just as important to be flexible. If you need more time to study, take it. Don't rush as that can affect your learning. So if four months is not enough, then it is perfectly fine to push your exam date. Now, many of you guys work full-time and have families, which can make it challenging to find time to study, which is why it's so important to find study resources that will allow you to learn the fundamentals at your own pace without feeling rushed. And that's exactly why we offer lifetime access to our courses so that you can take the time to learn the fundamentals and do the problems. Now, some courses might limit access, but remember, you don't have to follow someone else's timeline. And that's basically what you guys need to pass your FE exam. So first, make sure that you guys follow the five steps that we discussed in the previous video before you even start studying for the FE exam. And then you're going to come up with a study schedule, whether that is four months, six months, or even a year. And then after that, you're going to incorporate all these tips that we discussed in this video by following these strategies and having good study resources, not only you guys are gonna pass your FE exam, but also your PE exam. Many of our students are passing their FE and their PE exam within a year because they're following these exact strategies. And we shared their interviews in our channel to inspire you guys and motivate you. So make sure that you guys have a good study plan and having good study resources. Now, if you guys are looking for high quality study resources, make sure to check out our courses at jennyprep.com. And if you wanna learn more about our courses, make sure to check out the video in the description below where I go into more detail uh, to help you guys decide if it's the right fit for you. Now. Thank you guys for joining me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a good productive week and I will see you guys on the next one. A la prochaine.